Hello, YouTube. <laughs> I thought that I thought that would look cooler than what it did. I'm gonna just... So today, I wanted to talk about essential technologies that companies are using that you should know for 2017. Whether you're an experienced web developer or a newer developer like me, uh, it's been a year since I graduated my boot camp. And during that bootcamp, they were telling me that I needed to learn Bootstrap and Angular 2. And there's this article written uh, on Hacker Noon, and uh, it's called What It's Like Learning JavaScript in 2016. And it's kind of parodying uh, a conversation between two people about, you know, what is what everyone is using. And this is the most up-to-date stuff. And he's just like really this is why why can't we use this he's like because no one uses that anymore and that's pretty much the life of a web developer if you look up angular js versus react you will see that angular has kind of uh lost its popularity and react has overtaken it if you look up angular 2 versus react js you'll see that uh angular 2 is 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 rising but extremely slow compared to React. If you if you don't know what React is, it's a front end framework. It's what Facebook uses. You scroll down the page, infinite scroll. Um, it can change your page kind of without having to reload the page every time it puts something new on the screen, or at least it doesn't show you that it's refreshing the page. Right? It's like a front end state management deal. What if I want to learn back end? Okay, so a lot of companies they used to do the mean stack, right? So it uh, used to be Mongo DB, Express. Angular and uh, Node.js, right, for the back end. But now a lot of people are doing React and Node, React and PHP. I don't know anyone that's doing React and Rails that doesn't. Ruby on Rails is a framework and you kind of just type in some commands and it generates stuff for you, but if you don't want all that stuff that is generated in it, then you kind of have to MacGyver your way around it and customize things, and that can get annoying. So PHP took this idea of how Rails does things and uh, they did it with Laravel and they kind of uh, they kind of did it better. And you can see that in Google Trends as well that a lot of companies using PHP are using Laravel. So if you're going to learn some frameworks, learn React. And then after that, learn Okay, if you don't if you don't want to venture out of the same language and syntax, learn React and then learn Node. Those are both JavaScript frameworks. If you want to learn two languages, be bilingual, right? Improve your employability, improve yourself, improve your own knowledge, different syntaxes, the difference between PHP class and a JavaScript class, and I would go with uh, JavaScript and then PHP. ES6 is fairly new. A lot of browsers don't even recognize base ECMAScript 6, JavaScript 6, same thing. Cuts things down and it makes them super short. Old and busted, new hotness. And they're also using the new let and const, and uh, those are two new new types. So you, so you have you have var, and now you have let and const. And uh, a lot of people are using ES6 for JavaScript. Um, and pretty much that's it. Since I've had three, uh, I'm on my, my, my third job here since I graduated web development boot camp, and I, I've, done, I've done Ruby on Rails, I've done PHP, and now I'm doing React with PHP on the back end. And in my opinion, learn React, learn a back end language, probably um, go to Node, stick with JavaScript, or learn PHP. Those are both uh, very good back end languages. And then make sure you brush up on your ES6. Okay, ES6 is really important. A lot of companies want you to be familiar with that. And then you're going to need to know about Babel, right? You can't run ES6 and use all those cool new things about it without having Babel, which compiles ES6 down to, you know, this is complicated stuff up here. And then you have your simple stuff down here. It takes it and it puts it here. So you have to have Babel to do that. And those are some things that you're going to need you're going to need to know. So if you if you like this video, leave a comment, leave a question, leave a like. I would appreciate that. Um, make sure to subscribe for more of these videos. I didn't know anything about code a year ago. Zero, nothing. Here I am 
working at home, coding full time, this is my job. So um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. All right, bye guys.